All right, so it's about an hour past sunrise and I'm a little tired, <laughs> but uh, it was actually a pretty nice one. There weren't a lot of clouds in the sky, but it was okay because in a place like this, in Utah, there are so many opportunities for abstract images that don't include the sky. And uh, that's what I've been doing the most of, honestly, this trip probably. Um, and I've been doing most of it with the 100 to 400 lens, usually more on the 400 uh, perspective, but there's just so many desert ridges down here in this giant valley. We're just overlooking all these incredible textures and patterns and shapes. And before the sun came up, we had this beautiful soft light. So I was working with this soft diffuse light. So everything was kind of in shadow, but you were getting a little bit of glow on the ridges. And then all of a sudden the sun came out and completely changed all the composition. So it was really interesting to work with, but I think I got some stuff that I'm pretty happy with. A lot of fun playing with the lighting in these shots. This warm glow across the ridges and then of course the cooler tones to the shadow made for a really nice contrast. I liked the shape of the ridge here with that warm glow almost making not really an S shape, it would almost be the opposite of an S, maybe a question mark shape, but I definitely liked the way this one came out. Here's one of my favorite shots from the morning. I loved these desert fins and this little tower out in the distance. I played around and shot tons of images of this tower from 100 millimeters to 400 millimeters with different lighting. And this ended up being my favorite. This is closer to 100 millimeters. Now the ones at 400 millimeters looked nice, but I felt like they didn't really showcase the desert fins and the rest of these ridges very well. Whereas this one includes the ridges and that nice warm light. Actually, my favorite part of this image is those little dunes in the distance right behind the tower. I loved the way they were just catching that warm light. It's crazy how many things there are to shoot in the desert. Even while I'm talking and trying to do this vlog, I'm finding, I'm finding little compositions that I want to shoot. <laughs> I think that's enough shooting for now. I'm going to go and grab some coffee. So I'm here out by Capitol Reef and I found some pretty nice fall color. I've got some reds, oranges, yellows, and mixed in with some greens and some pretty cool buttes in the background. The lighting right now is really pretty. The sun is blocked, so we're getting this nice diffuse light. Looks like all the foliage is glowing. Um, to be honest with you, I don't shoot a lot of fall color. And I, you know, I haven't shot Colorado fall color or anything like that. Uh, so this will be a challenge for me. I'm gonna look around, scout, see what kind of things I can find. I'm really looking for the different color patterns with the trees. I think I know what I want, but I'm not entirely sure the exact composition until I obviously scout around and see it. So I think that's what we're gonna do right now. We're just gonna look around, see if we can find anything interesting. So this is my first test shot of this tree. I really liked the fall color, um, just all that beautiful yellow foliage, but I was really trying to figure out the composition here. I was trying to figure out how much of the uh, frame I wanted to fill with the tree and I wasn't a huge fan of the clutter down towards the bottom of the photograph. I thought about focus stacking that foliage down there, but then I realized that probably wasn't gonna work. And then I thought, well, you know, I think the best thing to do here is just try and move back to see if we can get away from that brush more. Shooting this tree in the background, there's also some fall colors around here. And honestly, I think my best bet, sticking with the 100 to 400 lens and just doing telephoto shots. Because there's some really interesting patterns and textures to play with. I'm gonna get my tripod. I think I need to move. And 
then maybe a little bit higher on the tripod too. All right, and I'm gonna shoot a higher ISO because the foliage is moving with the wind. So I need a pretty high shutter speed so that I can um, capture the foliage without any blur. All right, let's go ahead and go to timer mode. Need to tweak the composition a little bit. Okay, there we go. I think I got it. Here is the second test shot. This one's definitely workable, a little bit better than the first test shot and a little bit less cluttered towards the bottom of the photograph. But I still wasn't completely happy with the composition. I still felt like that bottom area just kind of ruined the photograph for me. So I decided to keep searching and play with a little bit of shallow depth of field. I thought, well, let's just, you know, be creative and have fun. So I'm gonna do the technique of using foreground elements as bokeh and kind of soften up the image a little bit because I'm shooting uh, this image at around 400 millimeters. So anything I put in front of this lens, it's just gonna be kind of soft, dreamy blur anyways. So let's go ahead and try this out and see what we can do here. Maybe I was a little overconfident in the way this was gonna come out, but I'm glad I at least tried it. I mean, sometimes you try creative things and they work and other times you try it and they just don't. And in this case, I don't feel like this effect really worked for the photograph. After I took these images, I took a moment and I stopped to really think about what types of images I was trying to capture. What did I want to say? What did I want to show? And what type of composition was I really going for? Because up until this point, I was just playing around, experimenting with some different things. And really what I wanted here was a simple, clean shot of this beautiful tree with the different colors of the brush in the foreground, but I wanted everything to be nice and in focus. So I decided to go back even further and decided to walk up a little hill that would give me a better perspective on this tree. And then this is what I shot. This definitely ended up being my favorite shot of this tree. I loved the color palette here with all of those nice yellow colors towards the top of the photograph and those nice oranges in the foreground. And once I took this image, I think I started to get it more. I think I started to understand the types of images that I wanted to shoot during this day. And I started seeing new compositions pop up. This tree was really beautiful and the colors here were really incredible to witness. I used those green trees in the background to kind of frame this yellow tree and the nice red tones in the foreground I felt like added a really nice touch to this image. I decided not to show the top of the tree because it just would have complicated the composition because right on the top of the tree you could see a very bright butte and it just didn't have the right textures and I felt like leaving it to the yellows and the greens was a better call here. To be honest with you, I, I kind of struggled a little bit at first to understand the depth of these photos, like understand how I wanted to compose the fall foliage with the trees in the background and, and trying to place them in the right spot was interesting. But I found a, a few compositions up the hill a little bit and I, I finally started to get it. And I think my favorite from the shoot may actually be the fall foliage in front of this butte in the background where the light kept shifting. I really wanted fall color in front of these buttes and I was trying to figure out how I wanted to show it and how I wanted to shoot it. And I love how in this spot, the different colors of the bushes and the foliage make these nice horizontal lines that are complemented by the horizontal lines in the butte. It was just perfect. So I zoomed into 400 millimeters to shoot this image. 
Here's an image that's a little bit more zoomed out and still keeping to those horizontal lines though. You can see the warmth in the top of the butte and then down into the cooler tones in the butte and then of course down into those different horizontal uh, lines made up of the colors in the bushes and in the foliage. So I just really loved the way this image came out and I think this one is my favorite from the shoot. Anyways, I am super excited to see how these come out. These, this is, this is definitely a first for me. I mean, I've shot, I've shot a few aspen trees, but nothing quite like this. It's, it's pretty cool. So I think that's gonna wrap it up for this episode. I really hope you enjoyed it. It was a blast shooting fall color for the first time. If you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up. Helps me out a lot. And subscribe to the channel because I'm gonna be releasing a bunch of new videos in the future. And yeah, thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.